planet Earth is very old. For the overwhelming majority of Earth's history, not a single arthropod fossil is known. As far as can be determined, arthropods did not exist for almost all of Earth's history. Given how common arthropods are, not only in insects and other terrestrial arthropods, but also in the marine forms, including the microscopic uh, crustaceans, which make up such a large percentage of the zooplankton. If arthropods uh, were present, they would be found because of their numbers and their hard exoskeleton. At the very end of the Precambrian, towards the end of a period known as the Ediacaran period, not only are there animals, but animals which begin to show features of the arthropods. They were not arthropods, but at the very final moments of the Ediacaran period, there seemed to have been transitional forms which possessed some, but not all, of the features of arthropods. In the Lower Cambrian, there was a group known as the Anomalocarids. This group is interesting because they are not alive today. And these animals possess some, but not all, of the features of arthropods. So they are not arthropods, but nevertheless they seem to be related. This is because of a segmented body plan, very large, complex, compound eyes similar to those of arthropods, segmented feeding appendages, and uh, a number of other complex features, perhaps best known in Anomalocaris, which could reach a meter in length and was probably the largest predator of the Lower Cambrian. Other anomalocarids are also significant. Opabinia may have possessed legs. Currig Michaela is sometimes classified with the anomalocarids. It does have a number of similarities to the group, but it also possesses antennae-like structures similar to arthropods, and it is also uh, known to have possessed legs. This is significant because while some of the anomalocarids may have possessed legs, uh, they are definitely present in Currig Michaela. So together as a group, these organisms possess some of the features which distinguish arthropods from other groups of invertebrates, but not enough to uh, call them arthropods. They are lacking many of the complex features of uh, the head, for example. Another interesting group of marine invertebrates during the early Cambrian are the lobopods. Lobopods are interesting because they possessed legs, they possessed compound eyes, some uh, possessed antennae, uh, some possessed some degree of armor on uh, their bodies, and one, Dionea, not only possessed uh, legs, but also segmented legs covered in a tough exoskeleton. Uh, these are not arthropods, but uh, they seem to have some features of the arthropods. The first true arthropods are known in the early Cambrian. These first forms are not alive today, and they are extremely prim primitive, possessing uh, primitive features which no modern arthropod has. Arthropods diversified in uh, the Cambrian and early Paleozoic, and some of these early lineages have managed to survive until today, such as this horseshoe crab. Almost all of the early Paleozoic arthropods have not survived to the modern day, however. And so there were diverse trilobites, there was a very interesting group of sea scorpions, which could get to be three meters in length, and uh, included the ancestors of the modern scorpions, which only live on land. These early arthropods uh, became extinct, many during the mass extinctions of the Paleozoic era. Most groups of modern arthropods did not appear until hundreds of millions of years after the first arthropods are known in the fossil record.